Welcome to my second period vlog, where day by day I go over which reusable menstrual product I used, and a brief description of my experience with it. Sadly, according to the Clue app, I'm supposed to get my period on December 7th, which is next Friday and is Pearl Harbor Day, and my 20th year anniversary with my husband. Maybe I'm gonna have my period early so that I don't have to worry about it uh, if we do anything for our anniversary. So when I woke up this morning, I did have some spotting on my underwear. It was bright red. I didn't have any cups in the bathroom, so I came to my cup room, which is my new cup room, and I grabbed for the Tampax cup in the smaller size. Um, I am going to use the larger size during my period. I know everybody's waiting for reviews on that. I am one of those who paid for uh, my cups uh, and I will totally give you my honest opinion about it. I know I already touched down a little bit on um, the large from my last period, but I only used it for a brief amount of time, so I'll go more into depth about that uh, during this period. Anyway, I grabbed for the small this morning. I had a little bit of trouble trying to get it inserted. Uh, with the large, I had to pull it a little out and then push the cup against my vaginal wall to make it open. Uh, the rim was really soft, so it didn't want to open really easily for me while it was inserted. Um, so I did that with the small one and it popped open and, and if my hand wasn't there, it probably would have shot out like a rocket. So I refolded it, reinserted it, and I inserted it up higher and then allowed it to open, but I used my finger to block the cup from just snapping open. I left the stem intact. Uh, I am standing, I can feel it. I was sitting down earlier and I could feel it. I'm not ready to cut the stem yet because I don't like to cut the stems if I don't know if I'm gonna keep that cup for a regular use. So we'll see how that goes. If you wanna follow along and hear more about what I wore during this period, stay tuned. Hello everyone, it's Red Herring. I hope you're having a great day. Any websites, links, or discount codes that I might have at this time will be in the description below. If you find anything helpful or interesting in this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. So it's day two of my period and uh, yesterday I did a lot of running around and uh, I could feel the stem all day, uh, but I still didn't cut it off. And last night I reinserted it, this morning I reinserted it. Um, but when I removed it to empty it this morning, there was some blood in there. Um, I had about a half a cup, which isn't very much. So the blood collection was right about there. And uh, I figured this is going to be an actual period instead of just a little bit of spotting and, you know, getting my period during my anniversary. So I'm going to continue to wear this. And when my period gets a little heavier, I will move on to the large Tampax cup if I can get that one to cooperate with me as I did have a little bit of trouble with it uh, uh, the last my, during my last period. So uncomfortable stem city for me um, continues. Uh, that's all for now. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye. It's the same day. So I just got out of the shower and uh, I used the small Tampax cup all day. The stem irritated me all day. I really, really want to cut it, but I don't want to cut it. So I'm going to leave it on there. But I did end up switching to the Luma Unique. It's like 3.30, almost 4 o'clock in the morning. And I just finished answering a lot of your uh, comments and PMs and whatnot. Uh, I didn't get to all of you, but I'm, I'm working on it. Um, anyway, it's really late and I just wanted something comfortable to sleep in. We have some union stuff to do tomorrow and I won't be home from kind of early in the morning. So uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to film. Uh, tomorrow I am going to use uh, probably the lolly cup because I don't know how long the day is going to be for me and I'm going to be out for a good part of it. So probably the lolly cup. But tonight or this morning I have the Luma Unique and I have the original size in. I'm really scared to try this, the, the mini. Um, it's really mini. I didn't expect it to be that small, but uh, that's all for now because I'm going to go to bed. So see you tomorrow. 
it's Sunday now and uh, I just wanted to do a quick update before I leave. So yesterday I was out all day, um, I'm about ready to leave now uh, and I'll be gone for the rest of the night. But I did use the lolly cup uh, yesterday and I think my cervix was on the lower side because I could feel the um, bit of stem that I left intact on it all day. Uh, and I was sitting through a meeting, so um, I was using the larger side uh, size. When I did get home, I ended up changing to the Luma Unique to go to sleep in, and um, well, I I didn't have very much blood in the cup when I did get home or when I did empty it. And then this morning when I took out the Unique, again, I didn't have very much blood in it. I did put that lolly cup back in. Um, Right now, I don't feel the stem, so we'll see how it goes. I am going to another um, meeting, and it's going to run late, so I'll probably put the Unique back in to go to bed. And I will see you tomorrow. I won't be doing an update tonight, so I'll see you later. Wow, what is this? Um, I can't see if I'm in focus. I'm sorry if I'm not. So it's Tuesday and I totally forgot to do a vlog last night when I got out of the shower. I just kept walking by my cup room. Sunday after I got back from the meetings, I went to go take a shower and I removed the lolly cup. I did have the large in and it was comfortable for me. Um, I didn't even feel this, the base of the cup or the, the little bit of stem that I left intact. My cervix probably moved back up a little bit, but I hardly had any blood in it. A couple of drops, so I didn't use anything that night. In the morning, I had a nice bright red line down my panties. And so I grabbed for the Tampax Small. Do I sound enthusiastic? No. I was really dreading putting that thing back in. I just want to cry when I use it. It's gotten more uncomfortable and more uncomfortable each time I've, I've worn it. Also seems to get more and more uncomfortable throughout the day. The longer I wear it, the more uncomfortable it gets. I don't know if I can continue to test this cup. If I'm not irritable already while I have my period or when I'm supposed to have my period or around that time, this cup made me irritable. That's all I have to say. It's Wednesday, December 5th now, and I'm still spotting. I don't know what's going on, but I, I'm okay with that. I've just been using the Tampax small cup. I hate the stems on these cups. I also don't care for the grip rings. Uh, a lot of you had mentioned that the Lena Cup original grip rings and stem or grip rings on the stem would cause you to chafe and I totally get it now. I didn't experience with that with my Lena Cup actually because I trimmed the stem on that one. These are just so rigid and they hurt when I sit a certain way. Because the cup doesn't migrate, the base of the cup kind of stays close to my vaginal opening. And if I sit a certain way or even walk a certain way, I can feel all those grip rings and it's really irritating. So I feel for those people that have uh, sensitivities to those things or just find them irritating. Anyway, I think I'm done wearing the Tampax cup. I wore it enough to know that I don't care for it. I think these are going to go on the shelf and probably not be used again. I'm sure there are some people that would love this cup and it would work for them with no problems, but I'm just not one of those. It's Thursday now and uh, I was going to use my Selena cups last night and I was just not having it. I am pretty sore. I know that if I put in another cup I'm going to have some sensitivities. So instead uh, I finally tried out the Flex panties, their period panties. Um, they were on Kickstarter and I had backed them quite a while ago. I did get the detachable style which has um, these clasps or buckles on the side of the, my phone is going off in my pocket uh, sides uh, by the waist um, and again these are period panties so they have an absorbent layer I'm still just kind of spotting and uh, I guess that's all for now so uh, we'll see how it goes tomorrow all right so I used the flex panties and uh, again they're period panties and I'm no longer bleeding but I am coming down with a cold and so when I was coughing uh, I did have some incontinence issues and uh, just a second and the style that I had purchased doesn't have a wide 
area of protection so it doesn't like travel to the waistline or anything. The areas that are protected didn't come up far enough and so I totally leaked right over uh, the front part of the protected area. Uh, that wasn't so nice. I'm glad that I was still at home. But this concludes my period this month. It was really light, so I was happy about that, but I did have several cups that I really wanted to try. Or not several cups, but I did have some cups that I wanted to try that I didn't get to. So I guess we're just gonna have to wait, but that's it for now. Let me know in the comments below if you ended up picking up one of the Tampax cups, which size you got, and if you're having any of the issues that I had with mine, or if it's comfortable for you. I guess until I see you next period, take care.